Working with track presets in Cubase can significantly speed up your workflow. Track presets are designed to give you preset configurations for commonly used channels in your setup. These can be used for either MIDI channels or for audio channels. Let's take a look at how to create a track preset and be able to search for it. Now let's say I have a bass guitar in my studio and I want to be able to kind of I know that I have to dial in the bass with certain EQs and compression to make it sound really sweet. So at the end of a project where I have everything kind of dialed in, I could come right over here and let's say, for instance, I have like a nice little smiley face EQ on my bass. So I'm gonna come right over here. And let's say I wanted to also have some, a touch of compression on a bass. So we'll just kind of come there and maybe we'll add, let's say if we have an envelope shaper plugin, so what a track preset can do is it can actually store not only the panning capabilities, it could also your volume level. And now what I could do is I'm gonna, once I have that configured, right click right on the track itself and we'll come here and say, save track preset. Now as I do this, I could actually assign different attributes to my track preset so that I could find it later. So let's say I want to call this Studio Bass. So we'll type in the name Studio Bass. And I want to give it a subcategory of Electric Bass. So I know that it's not a synth bass I'm looking for. And I could say the style is going to be for pop music. And I could also give it a rating. Let's say I really like that, set, that setting, so I'm going to give it five stars. I could also give it an attribute inspector. So I could actually give it character assignments. So I could say this is gonna be for mono, this will be for vintage sound that's clean and a little bit dark. So now I hit okay. Now all these tags will automatically be stored within my preset. So I could actually say, I wanna search for bass that's a vintage sound. Now to actually create my track preset, I'm just gonna hit okay. Now, as I do that, all that information will automatically be stored. So I'm gonna remove this track directly from the project. So right click and say, remove selected tracks. And now I could just simply jump to my media bay. And here I could have all of my different track presets. So let's say if I wanted to come over here, I could actually say, okay, I'm looking for a track preset that is my studio base. So I'm gonna just type in studio base. and I'll type it in correctly, and then hit enter. And then right here is my track preset that I've just made. So if I wanted to, I could actually just drag this directly over. That will automatically add my track preset for me. Now there's another way of doing this, and we could see that this will automatically add all of the channel characteristics to volume. Now another way to add, that's even perhaps a little simpler, is if I wanted to remove this track right here, I could also just say add right click and choose add track preset. So we'll add the track using the track preset. So now I could just type in studio base. And then I can see my track preset for studio base and I'll select add track and that will add all my channel configurations right there. So everything can automatically be stored. Now this can also come in very handy if I wanted to do something like a studio drum kit. So let's say I have a studio drum kit that's constantly mic'd up. I'm gonna add, let's say, six channels, six mono channels and a stereo channel. So we'll come here and let's say I wanted to build my studio drum kit up and it's perm permanently mic'd. I don't wanna have to come right over there and make uh, do all these settings constantly. So I'm gonna double click here. Now one of the great tips that you can have in actually naming tracks is you could just type in the name, hit the tab key, and that will automatically take you to the next track. So I'll say kick, snare, uh, we'll do hi-hat. We'll say hi Tom, mid Tom, floor Tom, and we'll do overheads as a stereo track. Okay, so let's say I open up my mixer and we'll go to our, our device menu and go to mixer. And let's say I have not only my different volume set for kick and snare, and I could have my EQs and my inserts, but I could also come over here and say, 
okay, for my overhead mics, uh, I wanted those, the phase to be reversed because of the positioning of the mics. So now what I can do is I'm going to select multiple channels here. Just hold down my shift key, so have the top track selected and the bottom track selected. And I'll just come right over here. And we're going to do a save track preset. So again, I could call this Studio Drum Kit. And then again, I could assign my attributes if I wanted to. So I can come over here and say we're going to have uh, drums and percussion. So we'll just come right over here. We'll say drums and percussion and we'll have a drum set. And we'll just call this our Studio Drum Kit again. Save. And let's say I wanted to get rid of all those different tracks right there. So I'm going to remove my selected tracks. And then I could say, let's add track using our kit here. So I could actually just say, let's go to studio. Now, one of the cool things is I can now just type in the word studio. And now I could see everything that has the word studio. So you could have a naming convention that you know is yours. I just will can drag this over or instead of dragging here, I'll just say add tracks. All of my tracks will automatically be carried over when I go to my mixer. Again, all of my channel configuration, including my polarity, is automatically set. Now, one of the things that you have with Cubase is a lot of people don't realize is there's a number of preset track configurations for you. So if you wanted to come over here, you could just say, I want to add track. Uh, and then you could just say, okay, I want to add track using track preset. And again, you can kind of come over here and kind of using the attributes that we saw before. I could actually just say, okay, I want a guitar preset. So I'm going to come over here, say guitar, and I want it to be, um, let's say, you know, different characteristics. So let's say I want it to be for rock music. And then I have all these different track presets. So if I wanted to now just say, okay, I want CC top old school as my track preset, I could do that. But if also, if I come over here, you could just drag and drop your different presets as well. So if I say, okay, I want to come over here and I wanted this to be guitar oriented, I could just say, okay, and if I wanted to audition different track presets, I could just kind of come right over here, say I want guitar, electric guitar, and we're doing a rock project. And then if I wanted to try out, so you could see the different insert effects that are plugged in right there. And now I could just say, okay, I want to try this track preset, drag and drop. And then if I wanted to, if I didn't like that, I could just keep my media bay open on top and just say, oh, it's just drag and drop just like that. So using track presets, you can really save a lot of time in configuring your studio for your kind of go-to settings. So if you have a studio drum kit, a studio piano, you know what vocal configuration works for a particular singer or your studio guitar, use track presets and explore the track presets that come with the program to really speed up your workflow.